Hey, what is up, guys? It is me, Seymour119, here to bring you some more G Stopper tutorials. Now, I know, I know, I promised that I said I would give you guys stuff, but then I didn't. And honestly, it's not pr my priority as a YouTuber yet because I've only got a, about a, almost 200 subs. Keep it up, guys. <laughs> But, um, please, I do enjoy you guys, and I try to get stuff to you as much as I can, and I know a lot of you guys care about G-Stumper, and most of you come here for that and not my damn games. I mean, 10,000 views on one video, and I still only have 100 subscribers. Where'd the other 10,000 go? The other... The other 9,000. <laughs> or no, no, no. Other 9,900. 9, yeah, that's, there we go. That's better. <laughs> I had to do some calculating in my head. So anyway, um, I wanted to show you guys a video on how to like make it make G Stumper faster in a way, but it's not exactly making it faster. It's just using less RAM in a in a different setup. So first, I'm gonna show you guys what happens when you use too much of the RAM. These presets I have Unison on five times as five times of Unison. And then high pass filter, and this one right here, this preset has mega low pass, and it has same thing with unison. And then the chords are on; they both have the same, almost the same amount of release. The grand piano right here. So then here, this is what it would sound like. Yeah, that's some fire ass shit right there. Yeah, you guys hear that? That laggy ass shit. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you guys how to make that go faster. So if you're okay with having to do a little bit of cropping for certain patterns, say if you want to stop the beat, then I'm gonna show you guys how to make the preset go into the drum sampler. So it'll play as if it were a drum sample, but it would be a really long drum sample. So let's go ahead and. So what you want to do is. Go up to, um, <laughs> I'm sorry, go up to export when you, um, go to, like, you know how you export the, the track and when you do the main song? Export the sound file. You want to export that, do what it says, and then export it to, I would say T10 since I don't use it that much, or I wouldn't really use it. Do your normal sample rate, your, your original sample format, make sure it's stereo and no post-processing, unless you don't use stereo, don't check that. Then you want to just, I'm going to overwrite these because I honestly don't need them. I'm going to do VTO4 and VTO3. So I'm going to do VTO3 for this one. So it's going to export over that. And you're going to see what I mean here in a second. Once it's done exporting, it will mute it. So do be prepared for that. You can unmute it, but do keep in mind that the synth track will start lagging again. And it'll also be twice as louder if it weren't to lag. So it, I'd keep in mind either deleting that synth preset or just muting it for good measure. And the same thing could probably, I think it may lag with here. So let's see, we're going to go to it and we're going to click on it real quick. Yeah, and you see that works. Now you do this. And you see I have and you see I have cleared my lag out so it pretty much I don't need to do the same thing for that other one. I'm just going to add a new preset or something cuz adding a new one may may cause it to start lagging. I know my device, so yeah. You have to know your device and you, if you know that it's slow with G Stomper, then this is definitely a good tool that you should use. All right, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. That's all for today. Sorry. Um, leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Please do sub sub subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll be sure to post more. See you guys in the next video. Peace and love.